DCU President Professor Brian McCraw discussed the prefab-like units that DCU Chancellor Martin McAlee suggested students could be housed in during a governing authority meeting. Piece of being spent. I mean, there's about a hundred million euro plan to be spent on student accommodation. That that's how much about nine hundred or a thousand beds is going to cost us. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money. So trying to get that right. So you'll see, um, we we have to knock some buildings on this campus to allow for a bigger amount to go up in it. But the net gain, the net gain in student beds uh, will be somewhere of the order of nine hundred or a thousand beds. But that's not enough. We have over seventeen thousand students. Uh, currently, we're about fourteen hundred and fifty student beds. I've seen a project um, similar to this, uh, which was container housing, a little bit different, and I've, I, I've seen that that was their response to the student accommodation crisis, and myself, I actually live in Waterford originally, and it's very hard for me to get student accommodation here, and I felt, geez, this is a, a great thing, if we bring it to Dublin it could really combat the student accommodation crisis. So. All, all the campus development stuff you see going, going on, the U, the extension to the Stokes building, these new student accommodation, it's loan finance, no one's giving, giving us the money for these, right? So the European Investment Bank, the Ireland Strategic Investment Fund, they're the two main sources. So we have to pay it back typically over 20 or 30 years. So we max out on the number of loans and the amount of loans we can take. The government controls you know, what loan level we can get to so that we're not making yourself too risky financially, mm -hmm. and that's proper order. So we look at other models where we can perhaps partner up with external entities, and this would be PPPs, public-private partnerships, where they might pay for and build a block of accommodation, and they might take the income for the first X years so they get their money back and any profit, and then we take over. Darren contacted us and we took him over to Amsterdam and showed him all the different schemes that we have running there. A lot of the students there only pay about 400 euros a month and they've got pretty decent limit, living accommodation. So um, I decided to bring it here, show the students and you tell me what you think. DCU students commented on the unit and whether they thought it was a viable option. Uh, personally I don't think they're doing enough as I lived in student accommodation last year and it was pretty, for what you were paying it just was not uh, great at all. So and that really doesn't look much better to be honest. It's not a bad idea but we definitely would need more than just like a couple of hundred places to be honest. There's a lot more students that are struggling like still I know people that don't have accommodation and it's like almost semester two. I don't know how much they can do themselves. I suppose they could build more kind of of their own. You know they have Hampstead and Arkfield. I don't know if they have room for a third set. If they could do it it definitely help. Koch Cadden with DCU TV News.